How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you how to fully erase your iPhone. With this method, we're going to reset your iPhone to factory settings. So we're going to fully delete and erase absolutely everything that's on your iPhone. So apps, data, files, it's going to be all gone. This will be a blank iPhone as if you're opening it up out of the box for the very first time. This is a mandatory process if you are about to sell or give away your iPhone to somebody else because no one will ever be able to find anything that's on your phone after the process. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so the first thing you have to do is open up your settings and before we go ahead and erase our iPhone completely, I do recommend that you check this out. Tap here at the top banner where it says Apple account and your name. Go ahead here, go to iCloud, and then let's talk about backup. This is very, very important because we're gonna actually erase everything, right? And this is irreversible. So once we delete everything, we're gonna lose all of our files and data. And if you wanna actually still use this data on a new device, let's say you're selling this iPhone, you're gonna buy a new one, and you wanna keep your files for the new phone because this one is gonna be completely blank, right? So I do recommend that you back up your iPhone right now before erasing it. So then you have a security copy that you can easily use to restore on a new iPhone, okay? So this is very, very important. If you don't really know how to do this, I'll lead you to another video. I'll leave a card right here, link in the description, where I teach you how you can back up your iPhone. iCloud backup, computer backup, so there are a few different methods, but on this video, you find out very easily, okay? So now that the backup part is clear, let's go ahead and actually erase your phone. So in your settings, scroll down, until we get to general, tap on it, and then scroll all the way down to the very last option, transfer or reset iPhone, tap on it once again, and then erase all content and settings, the last option, tap on it. And as you can see right here, we have this confirmation page where it's just gonna say we're gonna erase absolutely everything. So let's go ahead and continue. And right here, your iPhone will give two choices. And this is regarding your eSIM. So, Naturally, for most people, if you are erasing your iPhone to actually sell or give away, you wanna also erase your eSIM, right? Because you're gonna use it on another phone. So that's the last option, delete eSIM and erase data. So not only the iPhone data will be erased, but also the eSIM will be gone as well. In my case, I'm gonna go with keep eSIM and erase data because I'm just creating this video for you and I wanna keep my eSIM on this phone, right? But for you, probably, you're gonna wanna delete your eSIM as well, all right? So let's go ahead and continue. And then right here is asking for the passcode. This is your lock screen passcode, the passcode you use when Face ID doesn't work. So to unlock your phone, let's complete it. And then if you have an iCloud backup, remember we talked about backup. So if you have an iCloud backup enabled, it's gonna actually ask you to wait for it to finish, just to make sure it gets absolutely everything and the backup is up to date. So I do recommend that you wait. Generally, it doesn't take too long, as you just saw. And then right here, it's asking you for your Apple account password to turn off Find My. So to turn off Activation Lock. This is a security feature, okay? So go ahead and type it in. And before we actually go ahead and continue, I wanna talk about stolen device protection. So if you have stolen device protection enabled, maybe you will see a screen just like that, as you're seeing right here, asking you for a one hour delay. So you may have to wait one hour before you're able to turn off Find My and Activation Lock because of this extra layer of security. Since I don't have it on my iPhone, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off, as you can see, and then we're just gonna wait a second and then we're pretty much good to go. Wait, this always happens, so keyboard goes down and then keyboard goes up. Don't do anything, it generally, wait, it generally takes like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. It's working, it's doing its thing, <laughs> let's wait. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wait here patiently until it's done. And so as you can see, it just does that. Out of the blue, 
it just like turns off and shows us the Apple logo with the loading bar. So as you saw, I didn't press on anything. I didn't lock my screen. I didn't exit settings, nothing like that. I just waited. This is an old, old bug. It's always been like that in iOS. And I don't know why Apple has this screen with no feedback, but anyway. So all you have to do now is wait. You're gonna see the Apple logo loading bar iPhone turning off, turning back on. You're gonna see another Apple logo, another loading bar. It's how it works, okay? But it generally just takes like two to three minutes. So don't do anything. You can leave your iPhone on the table, let it do its thing, let it rest. I'll be back in a second. And so after about four minutes or so, we're good to go. Your iPhone is in fact, reset to factory settings as if it was opened up out of the box for the very first time, as you can see at the famous hello screen. It's not linked to your Apple account anymore, so you can really go ahead and sell it or give it away to anyone. This is a completely blank iPhone, good to go. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys, bye bye.